What's up guys, my name is Jenny at 5 and welcome to the preview for the Liverpool versus Chelsea game commencing on Sunday as a 4.30 kickoff. Really looking forward to this one but before we do get into this particular preview, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. The Blues travel to Anfield in their, th in their second big game of the season coming off the back of that draw against Nottingham Forest at home. Uh, we've actually been better at away from home, fairly enough. 100% record in the league. Um, so looking to carry that on. Obviously, our home form isn't that good whatsoever, only obviously winning that one game against Brighton Hove Albion. So realistically, away form shouldn't be too bad, but we are facing an absolute mega, mega team. Liverpool have won their last six games in all competitions prior to October, um, including three in the Premier League as they put themselves in a really, really good position. The only bad thing for themselves was that shock defeat against Nottingham. Forest. Listening to Arne Slot's press conference today, they have many, many injury worries. One of them being Allison out for the game. Harvey Elliott's a doubt. They've got Endo out, obviously Chiesa. So, in fairness, they have got a fair few injuries on their heads. So, it's not going to be good for them whatsoever, of course. But it might just do us that little bit more of a favour. Uh, the last five against Liverpool haven't really worked in our favour at all. Drawn three and, and lost two. Um, we've obviously drawn them a lot of times in cup finals and so on. It's really hard to say what's going to happen in this particular fixture. Obviously coming off the back of the international break, no one's obviously at their best coming at that point. But at the same time... Um, We've still got to put in a performance. We really, really do. We haven't won at Anfield for many, many seasons. Uh, the last time we won was against uh, under Mauricio Sarri after Hazard scored that absolutely won the goal where he kind of ran uh, around so many different players. Um, and in the league, it was 2015 where Diogo Costa um, got the victory for ourselves on that particular day. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not a ground that we're realistically good at whatsoever. And we come up against a team that's top of the league. So... <laughs> In fairness, this has not really come at a good time for us whatsoever. But in some ways, I'm confident. Other ways, I'm not. Um, it's it's a really, really tough test against a strong side, as I mentioned. Looking at their form itself to be able to analyse the opponent and so on, uh, their last six has been pretty special. They've, they've won all six. It's, it's just an unbelievable. And they've played some decent teams along that as well in Bologna, AC Milan, going to Crystal Palace, getting a result, scraping a result against Wolves, smashing West Ham, getting a result against Bournemouth. Like, it, it's not easy to be able to to say what we're going to do against Liverpool whatsoever I'm hoping and I'd, I'd take a point and that sounds silly of being a big side and so on but I would actually really take a point for the same fact of uh, I think looking at it retrospectively with a team that even though they have got a new manager it's a team that's been set for many seasons and we're not that we're uh, a big big progress um but at the same time, Enzo Maresca has clearly got something going uh, for Chelsea. So with that in mind, we'd like to see a performance. But at the same time, I just can't realistically see it. This is my lineup prediction for the game against Liverpool. Uh, bearing in mind, Cucurella and Wesley Fofana are out due to suspension. No injuries. Rhys James back in team training. Romeo Lavia fully fit, which is really good to see. So we've got a fit squad, apart from the suspensions, obviously. Uh, Robert Sanchez in goal. I think the actual only injury is Philip Jorgensen after catching an eye injury in the under-21s against Denmark. But he's been pretty good for ourselves, it has to be said. He saved our absolute... just Yeah, he, he was quality against Nottingham Forest. And he really... He did keep that point on the board for ourselves. So Robert Sanchez in goal. Renato Vega on the left-hand side. I feel like that's an adequate replacement. Um, I really can't see Ben Chilwell in the mix. I can only see him on the bench for the simple fact is Renato Vega's played much more games than Chilwell and he's definitely a versatile player, especially in that sort of role. Tossin and Carwill as your centre-backs. I think Tossin would be a good replacement for Wesley Fofana. You could argue that you could play Bailey Chile or Disasi, but I feel like just Tossin has had a much better season compared to the two names that I just mentioned. He's been solid for our He's been really versatile playing as a wing back and as a centre back, and there's no reason why he shouldn't partner up against his teammate Levi Levi Cowell, that's had an amazing season so far. Didn't have a bad international duty whatsoever either, so we should be seeing him in that back four with Malagusto on the right hand side. I wouldn't say he's had the best of starts to the season, but he's definitely a good player for ourselves, um, and this could be a game that he can prove himself against a top top side. Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo in the middle. The two pairings have been really well for ourselves. Obviously, we've got Jews. Hall and Romeo Lavia to fall back on but realistically that is the strongest pairing and this is the similar sort of attacking line that we've seen with Sancho on the left, Palmer in the middle, Noni Malawake on the right hand side and Nicholas Jackson up top. Um, 
The only thing that I'd probably argue for is potentially Christopher Nkuku to be filled in as a striker role compared to Nicholas Jackson. But at the same time, they've been competing really well against themselves. So it's really hard to say. In terms of the attacking midfield, again, Sancho Palmer and Noni, I don't really think anyone really replaces them. Obviously, we've got Pedro Neto, Jao Felix. The depth is really there. But at the end of the day, I just don't feel like it's adequate to really make them sort of changes within the side. Um, so yeah, that would be my lineup prediction for the game against Liverpool. We've gone for a 4-2-3-1 formation. The same formation that Enzo stuck with throughout the season and that would be who I would play against Liverpool. So finally, going on to my score prediction, I reckon Liverpool 2, Chelsea 2. I feel like it's a game that's going to be evenly matched to the same degree, but it could absolutely turn into an absolute whitewash. I feel like it's just one of those games. Um, if we go into it with the right attitude and we know that what we set out to do with the right plan and so on, then we might have a game on our hands. But at the same time, I reckon if we concede an early goal, I think the fans are going to get onto the back of us and so on. And I feel like it's going to be a tough cut place to be able to go and, and get back into this game. It's, it's really tough to analyse and it's really Really tough to say. Um, on paper, realistically, Liverpool should be winning this tie. Um, as much as we're going to be there for the competition and so on, and we've got a top side to be able to compete, at the same time, I feel like Liverpool are just that, that further ahead compared to ourselves and where we're at in this sort of process as of the moment. Um, it doesn't draw out the fact that we could get a result. Um, as I said, I take a point. Realistically, looking at the fixtures that we've got to play, we've still got to, obviously, we've got Liverpool, we've got Man United, we've got Arsenal, and we've got Newcastle. It's a tough, tough October um, and going into November also. So, so at the end of the day, we've got some tough games coming up. This could realistically kickstart our season off if we were to do something. And if we were, it'd be pretty special. But um, worst case, I'd take a point. And looking at the fixtures going forward and so on, I don't think like it would be a bad result. I don't think it would help us greatly too much in terms of the table and European spots and so on. But at the same time, I reckon that would be a decent matchup for being a two-all draw. But that is it for this particular video. Catch me for the review after the Liverpool game. I'll probably be very annoyed. Um, but, you know, we will wait to that moment in time and hopefully the Blues will bring something for us to be able to celebrate. But that will be it for this particular video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe for more content and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.